Okay, note to self, it is uh, August 26th, is that right? Is that right? Yeah, she's not wearing her watch. So, some of the highs, I've got a second dose of Apigard on. Uh, and then some of the smaller ones that I had given a 25 gram to, uh, I gave the full 50. And these are the splits that we made off the, uh, the Bolton Bees. They're very, very happy. I'm not worried about this. We're going to have some cool weather. I've got to do their feeder jars. Oh, this is something I was trying to tell Charlie last night. Uh, so I'm old Charlie. Is that I do use front feeders for trickle feeding. And I don't really want to put anything on the top right now. But you see, I've got an entrance way off to the side. And actually, when it got, gets close to robbing time more, I'd probably reduce that quite a bit or put a robber guard in here. But either ways, I do use the entrance feeders for trickle feeding. And that's one way you can do it and avoid robbing. So, and then what else we got going on here is kind of interesting. We would put a uh, honey super on top of one of the hives. And I think they thought they were Demeray for a second there. And they went up and put queen cells in this honey super here. And I thought, eh, it's pretty late in the year. But if that happens to be one of the Boltons or Saskatraz or whatever. Saskatraz, that's a whole different story. We haven't had any luck with those as far as honey production. I uh, heard a lot of people say that about too. Leave your comments about Saskatraz down below. But, but uh, So what I did was I took those... Uh, swarm cells and I put them up here put a queen excluder in let the nurse bees rise up populate and then I took a second honey super that was full of nurse bees or young bees and put it on there and so I've got the double screen board and I have a trickle feeder in the box back there uh, oh this is something I've been seeing here I don't know if the camera's going to catch this uh, this is the second queen bumblebee that I've seen today and they're usually out a little bit later. <laughs> Apparently the cats are too. Uh, but that's what's going on here. Uh, so everything's got 50s, including the queen that's supposed to possibly come out and mate uh, and over the double screen board there. Uh, that's the Saskatraz, and this is where I'd actually like to share this with you guys and get your thoughts on it. The Saskatraz that I've had had the lowest mite count. It was two mites. Uh, the Bolton was four. This Italian over here was 15. All the other ones were about four or five. We can deal with that. But um, but the Saskatraz has got the lowest amount of mites. And that's wonderful. Here they are coming in and out of it. Uh, but they just didn't produce honey. In fact, they didn't even really draw a comb as much as they did uh, uh, the, um, the Italians. Now I take that back. This one is actually, the Saskatraz actually was drawing a bit, quite a bit of comb. But honey production? No. I think I'm uh, pretty much done with that. We're going to stick with the genetics that we've got and uh, get rid of the Italians. And I'm scared to death what, uh, how Ian's Stepler's uh, bees are going to overwinter with all the... Italian genetics get in there, but they're supposed to be hybrids. Anyways, that's it for this Saturday, August 26th. Almost more of a note for myself that, yeah, I did put the uh, Apigard in. This is the date and this is the temperature. I think it's 72 now or something like that, which is completely wonderful. And the bees are calm. My smoker wouldn't stay lit. That's a different story. And, uh, oh yeah, and then the... Uh, the garlic chives are coming out, and when I have the garlic, garlic chives come on out, the bumblebees get on them right away. And I love these things for orna ornamental flowers. They're not the regular chives, so that's my two cents on that. The flowers last for about a month. We'll sit on the back deck and watch the bumblebees. It's kind of fun. So anyways, I've got to get cleaned up. Okay, God bless. God bless your bees. Have a great weekend.